Hello, my name is Shalendra Chaudhary, and in this video, I'll explain the node selectors and affinity in Azure Kubernetes cluster. So let's start. So in the previous video, I've explained how the taint and tolerations work in Azure Kubernetes cluster. So the taint and tolerations are the hard cutoff where if the toleration doesn't match with the key value pair of the taint, then the pod will not be scheduled. However, in the case of node selector, you define the label of the node in the pod specification. And if in case the label doesn't match, still the pod will be deployed into any other node. If I'll talk about affinity, it provides more flexibility as compared to node selector, as you can define whether the scheduling should be enforced or it is just preferred. So the next question is, why do we need them? In case you're creating a deployment with the three replicas of the pod and you don't want to run all the pods on a single node or if your nodes are distributed among the different availability zones and you want to run the pods among the different availability zone, that can be done using the affinity. Another reason is if you have a certain application pod running on one node and you want another related application to be running on the same node, then you can use the affinity to do that. And the example is if you're running a web application and you want your Redis cache to be running on the same node so that there is minimum latency, then that can be achieved using the affinity. And the third reason is if there are two different projects and you want one project to use a specific node pool, then you can achieve using the node selector as well as the affinity. And finally, if you have a specific application requirement, which can be supported on a particular node, then that application pods should be scheduled on that particular node. And here an example is given, which is the GPU support. If you are having a node with the GPU support and you want the application which requires a GPU support should be scheduled on that particular node. And these are some of the reasons to use node selector and affinity. So it's very simple to use node selector while creating the node pool, you have to define the label so that that label can be used in the pod specification while creating the pod. As you can see here, the label is defined while creating the node pool and in the node selector, the same label is provided. So now the pod will be scheduled on the nodes where this label is defined. I'll show this in demo soon. If we'll talk about affinity, there are three different types of affinity. Node affinity, pod affinity, and anti affinity. So what is node affinity? Node affinity is similar to node selector with a little more flexibility where you can define whether the scheduling is enforced or it's just preferred. And in the case of node affinity, the label of the node is checked. However, if we'll talk about pod affinity, in this case, the label of the pod is checked. So if a particular application is already deployed, like I've given an example of web application, it's already deployed with a specific label, then using the pod affinity, we can make sure that another application can be deployed on the same node where the first pod is running. The third one is entire affinity, which is similar to pod affinity. It also checks the label of the pod instead of the node. But in this case, when it matches the label of the pod, then those pods will be scheduled on the different node, not on the same node. So in the node affinity, you can see required during scheduling, ignored during execution. There are two options required during scheduling or preferred during scheduling. And you have to define the key value pair. In this case, it's a node affinity. So the node selected terms are defined for the matching expression. However, for the case of pod affinity, it's pod affinity and the label selector is based on the pod. Same with the pod and tie affinity. So let's check this in demo. So in this video, I'll be using the AKS demo cluster, which was deployed in the previous video. If we'll go to the node pools, there are two node pools right now. One is system node pool, another one is user node pool. In the node pool, there is a label defined, environment is equal to test. So there are two different nodes and each node pool is having one node. So there are two different nodes. So let's create a new node pool and assign a label to it. So let's check kubectl, get nodes. As you can see, there are two nodes. So let's create a new node pool. Now this command will create a new node pool. Resource group is AKS demo cluster resource group. Cluster name is the same, which we are using. The name will be label node pool. And here we are defined the label as environment is equal to prod. Node count is three. And we want the node size to be B2S, standard B2S. 
In this case, I want to use the zonal support. So I'm assigning it to different zones, one, two, and three. Let's run this command. This command is successful. Let's go to the node pool. And you can see new node pool is getting created. I'll pause this video and we'll be back once the node pool is ready. Node pool is ready now. As you can see, all three nodes are ready. If we'll go to the label node pool, you can see it has availability zone support now for the zone one, two, and three. And the three nodes are configured. So there are a total of five nodes now. kubectl get nodes. Yep, as you can see, there are five nodes. So now I'll first create a pod and use the node selector label and assign the pod on one of the node having the label as environment is equal to prod, which you can see is assigned to the label node pool. Environment is prod. vi pod.yml vi app one.yml. So the kind is pod, it's creating an app one with the image of nginx and the node selector label is environment prod. So the pod is created now. Let's check the pod status. That's good. Pod is creating. So if I'll check. So the pod is created in the node where label environment is equal to prod is assigned, which is label node pool. However, if you'll check, however, you can check there is another node pool with a different label. Environment is equal to test. So now I'll create another pod with the node selector label, which is not applied on any of the node. So let's check. So this is kind is pod name is app one one because I've created app one. So app one one and GNX latest. So here, instead of the node selector, we are using the node affinity where preferred during scheduling, ignored during execution. There is another option which is required, but I'm choosing the preferred here because I'm using the environment is dev, but none of the node has the label of environment is dev. Let's create this pod and see whether this pod remains in the pending state or will be scheduled on any node. kubectl apply fnf app 11.yml Bingo, pod is created now. So let's check the status of the pod. App 11, pod is creating. It's created on node pool. However, if we'll go and check the node pool, as you can see, node pool has environment is equal to test. However, we gave environment is dev. So the scheduler manager first checked the label of all the pods when it didn't find any pod with matching label. So it randomly selected any of the node and deployed the pod. So now I'll create a new deployment where three replica pods will be created. And using the entire affinity, I'll make sure that these pods are deployed on the three different nodes in the availability zone. So let's check. So the kind is deployment. It's creating a deployment is app to deployment. It's matching the label as run is equal to app to while creating the container. It's creating the label as app to. And in the node selector, you can see environment is equal to prod so that it's deployed on the node pool where three nodes in the different zones are created and the pod anti affinity will make sure that all these pods run on different nodes. Let's check the status of deployment. So the deployment is ready. All three pods are running. So let's check the pods. That's good. All the three pods are running. Now let's see on which nodes are they running. and perfect. You can see all three app two pods are running on different nodes 0, 02, 0, 0, 0, 001. So now using the pod anti affinity, all the three pods are running on three different nodes 
विच हैव द अवेलेबिलिटी जोन सपोर्ट सो विच मीन्स इन केस सो इफ देर इज अ जोन फेलियर स्टिल द अदर पॉड्स विल बी रनिंग एंड फॉर द लास्ट वन आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ पॉड यूजिंग द पॉड एफिनिटी सो दैट टू पॉड्स कैन स्टे ऑन द सेम नोड सो लेट क्रिएट अनदर एम एल कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो नाउ एम क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू डिप्लॉयमेंट विद द टू पॉड्स एंड यूजिंग द पॉड एफिनिटी आई एम मेकिंग शो दैट बोथ दिज पॉड्स शुड स्टे ऑन अ सिंगल नोड सो लेट स्ट्राई perfect now app3 deployment is started let's check the status and it's in ready state now so let's check the status of the pod sorry my bad and app3 pods are running now and if you'll see they are on the same node itself 0 0 this means using the pod affinity we made sure that both these pods should be running together on a single node so to summarize this video first we created the label on the nodes and then we used the node selector then the node affinity then pod affinity as well as the pod anti affinity that is all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you